Hello guys, this is Tom from kudosold.com. I am super sorry to you guys that I didn't have time to film, but today I'm back with another video that hopefully is more informative to you guys. So at, in front of me, there are four boots from different producers. These two are from White's Boots, and this is from Viberg. This is from Carmina Shoemaker from Spain. But they all have one similarity, if you guys can guess it. The leather to produce these four boots are all from Horeen. Now, they all look different. They all probably have different characteristics as well. But one common characteristic is that they're from Horeen. If you guys don't know what Horeen is or where they're from, Horeen is a tannery or a leather production company from USA, Chicago and they have been producing leather, fine and very good leather, since 1905. So it's over 100 years now. And they produce great leather. It's used in many, on all kinds of shoes, including boots and shoes and also sometimes sneakers. But today I have top, one of their top four leathers that I like from among my shoes that's made with Horeen leather. I'll introduce them one by one. I do a bit of a close up and then tell you guys how I take care of it to explain more to you guys. So on the far right from my far right, uh, this is Carmina Shoemaker's Cordovan boots. So these were MTO boots. They don't have a specific name, but the, the leather used is Horeen Shell Cordovan. So Horeen's Shell Cordovan has a bit of a different characteristic compared to other Shell Cordovan, for example, from Shinki Hikaku, uh, which is my uh, Meerman's MTO boots. It has a very different characteristic as well. It's easier to shine, but in my opinion, it's a bit more versatile as well. Uh, next here, these two are from Whites, as I've said before. Both of them are Chrome XL tan leather. So this is the natural Chrome XL leather, and this is English tan colored Chrome XL leather. So Chrome XL leather, if I want to explain to you what Chrome XL is, basically it's a leather tanned with chromium salt and then treated with other wax or cream or color on top of it in order to look, uh, ha have a different characteristic or different color on top of the leather. If you want to know more about their process, how they make it, they explain very well on their website, uh, on their blog as well. But let me just explain very, very briefly, uh, because it's actually a very difficult process and it has a very, they have a very long list. They take 89 process to make the leather and 28 working days apparently to produce Horeen Chrome XL leather. So basically once they get the leather, they'll uh, take all the hair out of the leather by using the process and then chrome tan it. Once they chrome tan the leather, it becomes more blue because chromium salt apparently turns leather blue um, and they use their own process. They don't really specify because it's their own secret to make the leather look like this. People love chrome salt leather and these are used a lot in other, many other boots that you will see because they're durable and then they create their own very unique patina after you wear them for a very long time. So this is White's Bounty Hunter. This is White's Stevens boots. I'll not tell more about the boots today. I want to show you guys how the leather is. So yeah, the boots are great, but the leather, natural Chrome XL leather apparently changes color over time because it's natural leather uh, into more darkened leather. Uh, so far, the, the color didn't change much. On the screen, somehow, it's very weird. It looks more orange than it is right now. It's natural color. This is orange, in my opinion, uh, but this is not as orange as, as, it, as it looks or portrays on the camera, but it's more like uh, natural beige colored tan leather. On my far left, uh, this is natural waxed flesh leather okay this is two different kinds of leather but it's also called natural natural colored uh, waxed flesh leather so horeen says that the inspiration behind the natural waxed flesh leather is that the marines used to wear in the united states the united states marines used to wear chrome xl boots use a lot of wax on the boots to make it more shiny looking 
Uh, and they got an inspiration from how the Marines used tons of wax to make it look better. And then, then they decided to produce a very similar, not very similar, but uh, use that method to produce uh, wax flesh leather. Basically what this is, is that if you turn Horeen's uh, leather inside out, okay, you'll have a soft part inside and the smooth part outside. The soft part with suede, that's what we call suede, uh, basically it's inside out and they treated the leather outside with heavy, heavy wax or other chemicals to make it look more smooth and more water resistance. So this is very, very water resistance. I can guarantee that. Currently I live in the UK and it rains almost every day. And when I, when I wear these, the, my feet are not wet except for the side part where the rain can go through, but the rain cannot go through. And I also walked into the ocean with this on once and it's really water resistant. The, the leather itself is very, very water resistant. I love it. It's very durable as well. It's a shame that the shoes uh, are a bit narrow. I'll tell you more about the boots when I want to review the Viberg boots. However, the leather itself is very water resistant and the water just slides off. Actually, these leather, right, when you get rained on, the color will change on the leather, not permanently, but you'll see the water mark on the leather. But this one, the water doesn't even go through because it is heavily, heavily treated and the water will just slide off. So it was very interesting to see that. And if I can buy more of the wax flesh boots, I want to, but obviously uh, they're costly. Currently, I do not have more boots with natural waxed flesh. So let me explain a bit on how I treat my boots or how, or how do I take care of my boots. Uh, they don't look like they're cared for because they're not perfect for some people, but they've been through a lot. I can guarantee you that. I, I, I climbed Brecon Beacon, which is one of the uh, very nice mountains in, in Wales. To climb the Brecon Beacon, I used this before. If you follow my Instagram, you guys can probably see uh, me climbing Brecon Beacon with these. I've walked miles and miles in these in rains and mud and stuff. I clean them off. It's very easy clean. You just grab a damp cloth and then you, you just clean the mud off and it's basically clean. I'll probably put some Venetian shoe cream uh, once it scratches even more, if you can see the scratch, I don't know. But if it scratches more, I'll put Venetian cream to treat uh, natural waxed flesh. Nick. Horin himself has actually said in his blog that uh, he would recommend people to use Venetian shoe cream to, to take care of the waxed flesh leather. Now for the Chrome XL leather, basically in their blog, it says that they finished the leather off with neat foot oil. I don't know what that is. I, I haven't used it before. I can find it online. It's not that expensive but they said they use Neat's foot oil to finish it off. Maybe I'll try it next time. But if you do not have it, you can also use Venetian shoe cream. But if you do not like anything too strong on your leather, you can also use Saphir's, you can also use Saphir's Renovator or Renovator on these leather to take care of it. Now, I know that people were, you know, controversial, like arguing in my other video about uh, Renovator. I'm gonna assume that all from now on, everyone knows how to use the shoe creams and knows how to buff the shoes. Uh, I know, I certainly know how to use it now. Uh, so I used Venetian shoe cream on this one and Saphir Renovator on these two. For my last shoe that I have here is uh, the Horween Shell Cordovan Leather. I will use Cordovan Cream from Saphir specifically because their Cordovan Cream is amazing. If you want to argue with that, please go ahead. But I think their Cordovan Cream is the best Cordovan Cream that anyone can use. And if I see the color is a bit off here and there or the scratches here and there, I will uh, use shoe cream as the same color for 
that's for any of these by the way i'll use a shoe cream to buff them up or, or cover of the scratch and then make them more shinier as well so there you go guys this was a quick video uh, to show you guys about the different horeen leather i love all my boots uh, these all everything like the leather itself is great amazing and durable and if i can i'll choose horeen leather over any other leather any time leather anytime i know that there are other good tanneries in the world like shinki hikaku from japan or uh, cf stead from the united kingdom i don't have many boots from cf stead i wish i can but yes, so uh, this was a quick video. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll come back with more informative videos and videos that are more pleasing to watch. Thank you for watching next time.